Hi folks, wanted to show how I am uh, figured out how to do a little milling on my uh, mini lathe. Now, um, I can only mill in a straight line if I have to go up and down, I have to re-shim it. Um, but I'll show you this, the steps that I use. Right now it's all set up to go. Um, I got my, uh, whoops. I wanted to show you this because this is how I control the feed. Okay, I have the carriage locked over here. And the power feed is not on. But when I turn this, you can see... It turns very little bit. I'd say that much right there. About one down and a little more. Whoops, you can't see that. Sorry. Okay. I grab it back here and I go one down and a little more. That's about a thousand. Now, we're going to... I'm going to get, show you from the whole thing here. Oops. Right. Now I'm going in. And I'll be able to tell when it's cutting it. You'll hear it click. Okay, you can hear it cutting. Right now it's cutting about a thousand. Now I'm going to move you over here so you can see what's happening. There's my uh, fly cutter. Here's a drill with a uh, Allen wrench on it, the right size for that nut. Now the feed, or the, um, there. It's kind of hard to keep this drill going at one speed. But you can do it. Now it seems to do a little bit nicer cut on the way back. But I have a very short length of uh, cut here. That's about as far as I can go right there. Now I'm going to just give it, I'm going to give it about less than a thousand right there. Now. That's going to be my finish cut. I don't have much battery left. You can see she's given, given a little finish cut there. Very little. But this works for facing small stuff. I hope my battery lasts a while. I'm going to just keep going. Okay. Now, I'm going to take that out and show you. Well, first I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to show you how I set up. I'm going to take the fly cutter out. And I'll show you that real quick, how that's ground. I put a magnifying glass on there.
that's how I ground it right there need that positive rake and the angles like that angles back so that's the now I'm gonna put a this is how I set up I have a block that's bigger but for this small thing this works fine all right now before I start cutting this is what I do to set the thing you'll notice this whoops you notice this is a drill vise. That's all it is. I have it mounted on the bottom here and it's almost perfectly level. Not quite, but it's very close. So what I do is I move this guy in I hope you're still in focus. That probably isn't in focus. You're too close. There. Um, when I have this a little loose, I move it, I move this in. To be even. And then a little loose, and then I can make that level. And then when I turn this on, it makes a mark. And if the mark is a ring, pretty much top, bottom, even sides, then I know I have it in there straight to the face. So that's how I set that up. Now, I'm just about out of juice, so I'm going to pull this out of here. See if we can get you view of the finish. Now I just made that mark on there with my setup block. But that's not a bad finish for a mini lathe and a fly cutter. This is one I did earlier the other side. So that's how I do it.